Just trying to make a video about wasting money trying to save money. Um, I sort of touched on a bit of this in my message to Marcho Mails. Um, but I want to touch on it again because I think it's an area that people sort of not into off-gridding probably miss altogether when they go to start doing off-gridding. Now what I mean by wasting money to save money is there's a couple, there's a, there's a newspaper here that's um, <clears throat> basically directed at country people. You find a lot of um, farm jobs going in there, a lot of, a lot of equipment for sale and everything they talk about is, is based on some sort of farming, some sort of new equipment, someone who's found a different way to do something, they've got some strange, uh, you know, invention that's related to cropping or whatever. Um, and my father used to get it quite a bit, he doesn't get it so much now. Um, and I used to read it, but one of the ones I read was they had these old couple that had spent years with a big diesel generator. Uh, they're off grid, they used to run the big diesel generator. And they'd start it up every night and do whatever they want off it. And I mean, she was a big unit. I think it was like blooming, you know, four cylinder or maybe even six cylinder. It was a big unit, you know. She was a big machine. Um, anyway, the old generator pretty much died. Um, and they were sort of early 70s or late 60s, early 70s. Um, and they said, you know, radio, barrel, we're going. Uh, to do a full solar system. So they put in this system um, and it was an article on this system <laughs> and they said, oh, you know, we've found that this solar living is, is not quite what it used to be with the generator. Oh, what adjustments you had to make. Oh, well, we can't use the electric kettle and the toaster at the same time. We've got to use a kettle and then when that goes, you know, when that clicks off and stops, then we can use the toaster we can't use both of the stuff, we've got to use either one or the other because otherwise it overloads the inverter um, and the inverter, you know, goes beep and shuts out on us and I thought, God blimey, that's, that's, you know, that's a real hard yakker adjustment <laughs> but you want to know what they spent, I mean, they, they live in a shed and this shed, the entire roof was just solid with panels I mean, you could barely even see a bit of roof sheet at all, it was just panels and you want to know what they spent on this system? Along with all the battery bank and the inverter and all that. Seventy to eighty thousand dollars. And I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> if they're flaming they're throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Uh, and this is a whole thing that a lot of people who you know, they want an off-grid system. Oh, solar's the way to go. So they go 100% solar. They spend astronomical amounts of money, you know, um, on this system. And, you know, some of them spend... I've seen rigs that are basically $90,000, $100,000 rigs. And I mean, you know, they've got all these out in big stands in a paddock and they're massive, massive systems. One of the Doomsday Preppers has got a system that I think cost them ninety grand on National Geographic Channel um, and you know it was a big 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 system um, and a lot of people they go oh you know we'll, we'll go solar and they just look at solar and they blow you know damn near a hundred thousand dollars or you know seventy to a hundred thousand dollars on a solar rig and quite frankly It's wasting money for how you could do it. Um, anything heating, believe me, you want to go propane or wood. Um, and what I find is I separate everything into two categories. Either run on solar or run on generator. And you say, oh yeah, you've got to do that because you, you know, your solar system isn't huge. Um, I've got 240 watts of panels. Um, on 200 amp hours worth of batteries and you know a rather small inverter, quite small inverter um, but when I look at it all 
let's face it, my system cost a few thousand. Like, literally, if I had to set it up right with a proper inverter and a good battery the first time, you know, it should have cost me sort of two and a half, three thousand. Plus, now the price of panels has dropped down. I was paying five dollars a watt back then. Um, now the price of panels, nearly five dollars a watt it was. Now the price of panels has dropped. Um, and I'm using monocrystalline panels, by the way, which are sort of the dearer ones. They do last longer, though. Um, you know, that, that system should have... Today, if you were to do the same system, it should be about $2,500. Um, and quite frankly, you know, people that spend seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 or more on a system, you're actually better to buy yourself a generator and just put a little bit of fuel in and sort of do what I've done, which is separate appliances into either I run this off the solar system or I run this off the generator. Um, and you try and make it so that when the generator's being used, anything that you need to do, pump water, you know, run washing machines, run a microwave, whatever, anything you've got to do that takes a lot of power, you do it all at once or you basically let those jobs back up until the point that you can, um, you know, it's time to run the generator and then you have all those jobs set up ready to go and all you've got to do is press the buttons on the microwave to start it, you know, hit the switches on the microwave, uh, on the uh, washing machine rather, you know, do whatever because you've got the whole lot rigged ready to go. You know, you've got the blooming the clothes in the machine and the powder in there, you know, and she's all, you've got the blooming chicken in the microwave and it's all just ready to go. Um, and in looking at that, I doubt I'm going to spend two and a half thousand dollars short of 80 grand on generator fuel. I mean, my generator cost me 1,050. It had a Honda engine, which I would have hoped was a bit more reliable. It <laughs> hasn't been a very reliable engine, which I'm a bit disappointed, Honda. But um, anyway, um, it's a Honda engine and it's got a Italian generator, but the, the engine itself isn't been as reliable as I would have hoped Hondas were going to be. Um, but, you know, I've seen cheap Chinese ones of almost almost the same capacity, not quite as big, um, that have been $300. Um, in the States, a lot of Chinese stuff is cheaper because they know we're wealthier here. They make us pay more. And I thought it was the supermarket. It turns out it's the Chinese wholesalers who are smart enough to make us pay more. It's the Chinese manufacturers who charge us more because they know we can afford it. Um, so you'll probably get one even cheaper in the States. Uh, or you can go the really nice ones that are 100% Honda. I mean, the whole generator and the whole bit's built by Honda. Or, you know, Yamaha ones. A lot of these ones are either um, Keystart or the Honda ones have actually got some of the other good ones have got a little thing like the central locking for your car and you just press the button and it starts up. And realistically, look at the price of fuel and how much you're going to use this thing. I use mine for about like 50 minutes a week. I use half a gallon of fuel. How much is half a gallon of gasoline times 52 weeks a year plus a few hours of cutting wood and stuff like that um, going to compare with Two and a half grand short of $80,000. Because everything else I get done with a two and a half grand system, and I could have spent, well, I didn't have the money and I wouldn't get the credit to be able to spend 80 grand on a solar rig um, because it's not really logical to spend an extra, you know, $77,500 so that I've got solar panels that will do everything because that $77,500 is going to be far more money than the cost of gasoline. So you've got to think about these things. And the same thing goes with running a generator or not. It is cheaper to buy 
two and a half thousand dollars worth of solar equipment and use that all night long um, than it is to run a large generator for hours and hours of a night time every night. Um, so, you know, there's, there's ways that you can waste a lot of money with oversized solar systems um, when you would have spent less on gasoline, or you can waste a hell of a lot of gasoline um, when all you got running is like one or two little lights, you know. So you got to sort of think about these things. The other option that may work, um, and people do do this, is to um, have a battery bank and have one of those inverter chargers um, that charges your battery bank while your generator is running and then you just run the rest of the week off your battery bank and there's no solar panels at all. That has traditionally been the off-grid method um, for a lot of people in this country. I'm not saying all of them. Many of them just start the generator and that was it. Uh, but there's a lot of them that have worked out, hey, if we only need to run a few lots, we have a battery bank which is charging while we're running the generator. Now, for the love of God, don't go, oh, I'm going to go that option and then go out and get a um, car battery charger from the auto supply store for Harbour Freight, for Lowe's, for someone like that, and then go and whack that in the generator and go, oh, I'm charging my battery. Those chargers are stupidly, uselessly inefficient and literally won't charge up quick enough to do what you do. And even if they do charge quick enough, they're terribly inefficient. It's a terrible waste of gasoline for the amount of charge you get in them um, because they're they're built on the cheap in China. They're designed to do a job but not do it well. Um, and they're just more Chinese junk usually. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, a bit of food for thought. The same goes for, um, you know, starting a generator every time you want to cook anything or heat anything. Just go propane for your cooking or your heating uh, or wood. And I use propane out of convenience, but for the heating, actually, for the first time um, since, well, basically the middle of spring, I used my uh, wood heater again last night um, because it's starting to get cold again. We're getting into autumn here. Um, but, yeah, you know, there's, there's ways that you can waste a lot of money trying to save money. Um, and there's more obvious ways that you can not waste generator fuel um, on electric stoves and use a propane stove because it is cheaper to do it that way. Um, and, you know, there's so many things that you can leave back up till you need to run a generator or... Um, you know, you can sort of waste a lot of generator fuel unnecessarily. So that's a bit of something to think about. But, um, yeah, you know, that just you got to sort of think of these things um, when, when you do all this um, and not waste tens of thousands of dollars trying to save, you know, a couple of hundred sort of thing. Um, 